In Alberta, nearly 100 fires are burning now, many of them out of control, and smoke is blanketing much of the province. There is some good news for some of the people who were forced to flee their homes. Nitu Garcha got a rare close-up look at progress in one of the hardest-hit communities. Nitu, what did you discover? Donna, there is some excitement here in the town of Valley View tonight as some of the nearly 2,000 residents who are being allowed back home have made it home before part of the highway to town closed late this afternoon. Fire officials say a barrier has been established in some of the most vulnerable areas, but not far from here. The threat looms for other communities, including Sturgeon Lake Cree Nation, where we went inside the fire zone and got an inside look at the firefight. Turning off uh, Range Road 230 here to head westbound. The home of more than 1,500 people from Sturgeon Lake Cree Nation northwest of Edmonton looks dramatically different from when a wildfire forced them out two weeks ago. There was uh, a residential structure here on the property that was um, taken out by the fire. This RCMP escorted tour gives us a glimpse of the destruction as well as the firefight from the ground and the air. There's a uh, 36 homes that were initially lost and then another two yesterday. So with the fire still go actively going in our community. So it's going to be a massive undertaking. Chief Sheldon Sunshine fled to Grand Prairie. An evacuation center here has registered hundreds. I have never seen anything like this in my life. Like much of Alberta, Grand Prairie is blanketed in smoke. Uh, your lungs are very precious, so you want to protect them. It burns your eyes. It's been like this for days, maybe even a week now. It's crazy. The county has been surrounded by evacuation orders and out of control wildfires. And while some people who were ordered to leave have been allowed back home, there are still concerns Grand Prairie itself, a community of more than 60,000 people, could be forced out as well. It's going to be traumatic for some individuals who haven't seen because after the fire goes through, the landscape is going to be different than what it was pre-fire. As of right now, there's, there's no threat to Grand Prairie, um, so, but it's I think it's a message for everybody across northern Alberta right now. Just ensure that you are prepared to go in, in the event that you have to. For Fox Creek, there is growing threat. Officials say the wildfire has moved closer to the community from all directions. Wednesday afternoon, our global news crews were told to leave as flames were coming towards the town. And drivers looking for fuel were quickly helped by RCMP before being warned a highway closure could be imminent. Back in Sturgeon Lake Cree Nation, the chief says with the wildfire still so active, they're taking it day by day. While Valley View residents are being allowed back home, Sturgeon Lake Cree Nation and Fox Creek are about two weeks into their evacuations, which still have no end in sight. Donna? All right, Neetu Garcha in Valley View, Alberta. Thanks.